All right. <clears throat> we should be live. As always, there was something I was going to do. Oh, but I remember. Okay. Just give me a sec. Um, I'm just going to do something while we're waiting for <coughs> the first uh, 30 seconds to be up, which it officially is. Okay, so let me look at something. Got it. Okay, um... Excuse me. So, what I want to do today is... I mostly want to use this team because it's fun. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's the whole plan, right? Like, <laughs> I literally just want to use that team because it looks like fun. Um, and because I gotta film, I gotta get some matches in with it, so. Alright, we're gaming, so let's do it. <laughs> I do think that um, we haven't necessarily figured out the Pelipper's moveset yet, so that's something. Uh, we basically are just torn between Tailwind and Wide Guard. I think Tailwind works because things like Lunala, it's not Lunala, but you know what I'm saying. It looks like it should be a Lunala. Um, Things like Archaladon and Cresselia actually are like a little bit fast, so you know, you've got things like that. Let's start this and um what else? This? Maybe? I'm like, I don't know, like, what do I... What do I start? <laughs> uh, I mean, we could always just... Start this... And then go... This... And this, I mean, I kind of like the idea of doing this. I just know that they have access to, um, what am I trying to say? They have access to... That's There is nothing scary that you can do with that. <laughs> Let's just click Trick Room. And against my quote unquote better judgment, I will just hard swap Ursuline right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they. I don't know. I mean, like, taunt Terror Blast. Like, what are you gonna really do? So going for a U-turn there, I think, would have been kind of nice, but we do that, we go for Trick Room. 
Twist up some dimensions. I kind of like going for Hmm. I kind of like going for Okay, I'm glad that that worked because I definitely didn't make the right play. <laughs> uh. Okay, so now I'm going to click this. Facade Moon Blast. So, this is fine. We know that they should switch in Landorus right now. And potentially I could have not, um, e, I really need this Moonblast to KO, kinda. Okay. I mean, it is like a 95 base power move, so. Not much to say about it. Let's think here. What kind of position are we ending up in? Um, I think we can safely just go for the. Hmm. So my thought process here is the Moonblast Facade should KO them, and even if they go for not clicking Detect, which they do because that's kind of how it works, um, we'll go for Facade, get some good damage, and then go for the Moonblast. So yeah, we're, we're doing what we have to do. Then, at this point, I think we're pretty much like we have it wrapped up, right? But what I'm going to do, hmm, this is actually interesting. I say we, I say we just... Like, because they have to double protect. Um, yeah, so that's fine. It's so much damage, like, it's really just... <laughs> Uh-oh, we're dropping frames. We're fine. I think that it, we dropped frames when my phone went off. So maybe just let's move my phone away a little. Dang, that did some... Oh, because it was on Earth's Luna, right? I was going to say. <clears throat> I was like, that was damage, my guy. And then, their favorite part, we... <laughs> we bring Rillaboom back, though. Oh, man. Earth's Luna is just ridiculous, I swear. Okay, so, Trick Room again, they got, what you gonna do with that, me? 
You got a ghost terror? Nice. You get the fake out. You get the triple. And now we just click Moonblast for a bunch of turns. <laughs> <laughs> and you turn because you gave me the chance. GG. Alright. Alright. We did what we had to D O double T duped. As we used to like to say. Because we always got it wrong, right? It's obviously D double O T duped, but. You know, we're gaining. Alright. So lots to deal with if you're my opponent. But we we did what we had to do. Alright, B2. My guy. Okay. Um, pretty scary stuff here. They've definitely got a lot of pressure to put on, which does not make this easy for me. Um, I kind of like, what do I like? This is like kind of awkward if you ask me. Kind of like this with, I mean, we could, yeah, like bring Palipper, right? But we should technically bring the good stuff. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'm a little bit afraid that this is not exactly the right options. Um, Rillaboom is definitely, like, we have a core for sure, right? Like, like the middle four of my team. So, like, excluding the Pelipper and the... Um, what's his face? I mean, we we don't necessarily use our child on that much, but it is still kind of like crucial to the team. So let's see here. Speed heightened, yeah. Um, let's just set trick room and. I don't love just switching into Arch, but like, it's kind of my better play. And then I actually probably should have brought Pelipper. So they will switch in Chen Pao, which I kind of expected. That would have been a reason to just go for Wave Crash, which I was kind of thinking about. <coughs> um, we'll see what they're going to do. I feel like this is going to be, yeah. So, a little bit scary. Um, I don't know what to think about this position. This should be going into that slot, yeah. Which, we tank, so that's good. Um... Go for Trick Room. I think at this point, we can kind of just, what, like, go for one turn of clicking.
All right, so let's see what happens here. Um, I'm expecting Sacred Sword, but we'll live it a lot more comfortably this way. <laughs> actually go for Throat Chop. Very scary. Okay, um, so we put ourselves in a kind of bad position, but I like to think that we have ways around it. Uh, they don't go for Sucker Punch either. That's kind of bad. Okay, um, this is getting a little bit bad. They go for Throat Chop. Um, if I don't have any priority, I do. Um, let's bring out the Basque. We go for Aqua Jet, Draco Meteor. Is there a way in which this loses because I have Scarf? Yes. Um, so the Scarf is actually working against me right now. Trash Pokemon, trash. That's so ridiculous, I swear. Cause like if you're my opponent, what do you do, right? You pro you have you do have plays, like you definitely have plays out of this. Um I wanna see if Sucker Punch can pick up from this range. Yeah, okay. So missing that Draco Meteor is really what sealed my fate, but also I... I should have just brought out Ursaluna, like... Or, like, like, two turns ago, that is. Um, so we'll see what happens here. They bring out Lucario, yeah. No, I definitely had ways to win this if I had just um, played my turns more like the way that I was supposed to. Okay, um... Yeah. So basically what you do is you bring 
you bring Ursaluna out first, and then you uh, pressure with Ursaluna. You take the uh, KO with Archaladon, and then you have the uh, last respects in the back to finish off Lucario. So, yeah, I mean, there was really nothing they could have done if I had just not wasted my uh, my Basque Legion. So that's kind of my fault, like, which is frustrating, but. <laughs> it's like like I sat there and acted like they weren't gonna just click sucker punch and then they did like you know what I mean and like that literally would have worked if I just didn't have choice scarf so like the choice scarf literally lost us that game um which is annoying but it is what it is We obviously have to do this. <clears throat> and this. And then bring this in the back. And the question is, do I really think that like this can just carry me right or do i need like this and it really depends on what we get rid of at what time i think Um, yeah, we'll see. I do feel like I played that last one like incredibly poorly though. Good one, phone. <laughs> Okay, so... <sighs> yeah, I did not play that last one correctly. Like, I, I truthfully think that was incredibly winnable. And it was really just, like, the good thing is that there was two ways in which it was winnable, right? Like, just because we had the scarf didn't mean that it was, it was a lose condition. What really lost us the game was, um, not, not saving Basque Legion for the end. Like, um, because Toy Scarf Basque Legion was actually incredibly good versus the Lucario and the Dragonite. So, yeah, definitely something to think about. Pretty much nobody is running a Sash Urshifu anymore. They might, but like Mystic Water. Um, so, yeah. They got frozen and they quit. <laughs> uh. My guy, you double survived though. So they go for the surging.
I mean, sure, you were gonna take out Rillaboom, but like, was it gonna win you the game? Not really, you know. Freeze my game. Honestly, though, not getting that KO kind of hurts. Like, it makes me feel like I need to, uh. It makes me feel like I need to give my Cresselia more special attack investment in order to actually get that KO. Um. Let's see. And we probably just have like no special attack investment. Yeah. Um it's really hard to say that it's worth it, in my opinion. Like Mostly because we still needed the fake out, right? Like, so the fake out was also a part of getting there. Alright, we still haven't used Pelipper. Um, we still haven't really gotten that much use out of Basket Legion, so again, you know, adaptions could be made. Shazam. Alright, this team is going to test us for sure. We can start like these two. Bring this. This is gonna be a rough one. Um, I'm feeling the most comfortable with going for taking out Rillaboom early and then going for Ground Terra Pelipper. It's gonna be awkward. Um, I think I can make it work, but we're gonna have to see. Right on Palmont. I don't see why he couldn't do it. I mean, you know. Okay, let's see. Let's just set Trick Rune. That sucks. That's like worst case scenario. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, that's really bad. Not a lot of people are running Bug Buzz, but they could. They go for Heat Wave. Probably U Turn with Hammer. Okay. 
go for Trick Room. We need to be careful here. Ooh, I forgot that they were gonna move first. Okay, I'm not playing this well at all. Cause that's gonna be... Okay. Yeah, I 100% should have weatherballed the fall from there. So we are finally in the position that I was kind of trying to get into, but that doesn't really mean that we're like out of this, right? So let's Terra. Other ball. Mega evolutions. Um, I think. I am excited to see what they choose as the new starters, honestly. Besides that, not 100% sure. I'm excited to click ground Terra Pelipper. <laughs> you would do it up, Numingy. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> like citrus berry. Alright, I honestly don't know what to be more scared of right now, like... Make it hip now. <laughs> um, okay. so we get the Valk. Which is important. <sighs> Miss the hurricane. Grass disappears. They should bring Rillaboom back out. know what they'll go for. See if they make the right play. Okay. Ooh, okay, so they do do that. Luckily we have Sash. We go for Hurricane. We KO Rillaboom. Um, we really need more Trick Room though. Because we're starting to get into a kind of bad position. 
and I don't think there is more trick rooms, so... Well, there might be one more turn. No, okay. So let me think here. Yeah, this is definitely getting kind of bad. Um, pendant maker for hypnos. <laughs> um, the problem that I'm having right now is that I can't figure out what my best play is. I know my best play was not that. I do get the double protect. Let me think. I think what I needed to do that turn was to not protect, first off. Um, let's see. Oh, they're just gonna... Oh. Um... I would have liked to click Facade in that case. Because we do live... We go for a headlong rush. We actually just crit one shot them. Very unfortunate if you're my opponent. Um, let's think. Let's click. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Like, I really had to play that carefully because... Sure, the, the critical hit was unfortunate for them. And I do think there was a pretty good chance of them living without the crit. But, um, my concern was, in my mind, they have to target Ursulina. So, technically, I should click U-turn and then switch into Crest. But, if they don't target the Ursulina and they Ice School Crash, then really, like... 
I'm not exactly in an amazing position by switching out, letting them take crest. Uh, yeah, no, no, switching into crest was always the right play. So, GG's. Um, we did what we had to do, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we always, I think, made the right play. That's, that's what you like to see. Because no matter what, you you switch out and then you go for grassy glide facade and that should uh, that should guarantee it. So okay, um, fun team. I do like it. Let's just build some sauce real quick. You never know, my guy, Mega Arceus. They just might. They just might do it to him. But no, we're we're going into Zygarde, right? So, I mean, obviously there's no reason to make a Mega Zygarde unless they're going to make, like, a Mega Zygarde half-boy form. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, half-boy, full-boy, that's the question, right? Alright, so... We got a little as boys here. Right, because I have to unjoin the join boys. It said, excuse me. Or should we build a Calyrex Horns team right now? It is the Calyrex Horns. So let's see. We have Glacial Horns. We have... Should be like... Glacial Horns, Protect, Trick Room, and, uh, like, High Horsepower, right? High Horsepower, Heavy Slam. Generally, High Horsepower. But, okay, at least we have Trick Room. I kind of like, I kind of like how, you know, the other Calyrex is kind of just get up and go, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to set Trick Room, I can just kind of play the game. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing too much, like, setup. I just want to play. I just want to play. Okay, so... Kind of a dumb move to teach Trick Room, like, right when I'm going to unjoin them, but... Calyrex forgot Glacial Horns. Okay. His name is the Glacial Horns. What up, uh, Zapod? How's it going? But this one is not the glacial version. This is just the horns. Calyrex 
Calyrex Horn. What? No. <laughs> You're telling me I haven't trained it. Now that hurts. Now that... Now that hurts. This is trained. Okay, um, let's use this. We do need to go get protect, um, iron head, sacred sword, swords dance, and protect. I mean, I do think that player off is worth having. I think Sacred Sword is a really good answer into a lot of annoying things. Oh wait, I need to go kill a Lei Chong. And it is Lei Chong. And it is Lei Chong. I also wanted to build a Koridon team. I just need to train a Koridon. So really I'm just looking for a legendary that I have trained and ready to go. We could do Calyrex the Horns version. Um, I have the, you know, Glaster Horse one. But, uh... I didn't really want to do Trick Room right now, so... That, that was my thought process, at least. Alright, so let's see here. <laughs> I know, that's always what I think of doing when I'm riding this thing, I just spin in circles. <laughs> Okay. Trill. Super Trill Big Bag of Skills. You guys know it. The legend of Big Player Never Scare Scare. Um, let's see. Right. <laughs> They're just a bunch of silly little guys. Alright, so let's see. Behemothash. I mean... I, I like Snarl. I like Snarl. Is that, is that wrong to say? Am I bad for saying that? Like, I, what I think it comes down to is that Behemoth Dash is actually kind of decent. The man said, am I a bad? <laughs> Oh wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Dang it. Um... There you go. Alright, so that is the spread that we desire. 
So we got that. We got that. They're both trained the way that we need them to be. Um. We did just buy. Protect, right? Or did I space out? Because I've been known to do that. Okay. Let's just rock with this. Um. Oh, wait. I mean, it doesn't matter because we can just freely choose between our moves, but like. I actually kind of like Sacred Sword. Like, play rough, you're just not clicking. So, Sacred Sword, Sword Stance, Protect. Um, yeah. Okay. So, let's put this back. We have this. I do like the way this team shaped up. There's definitely better options than... Goldango. I've got a lot of shinies, my guy. I've got a lot of shinies. I do. Uh, okay, so what was I saying? We could definitely replace Goldango. The replacement that I'm thinking of is not necessarily amazing. We did release this team, so... We're actually... I don't know why I said the replacement I'm thinking of is not amazing. I haven't thought of a replacement yet. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, um... I kind of honestly like when well rain i mean they can both do it right encore is nice everyone likes encore so let's think about that <laughs> we have encore what if we built a mono fairy team we could run Comfy. And we can run to a fair. <laughs> oh god. And we can run Pre Marina. I mean, honestly, though, like, we definitely could. We definitely could. Um, take a ton of bunks. Alright, I'm gonna make this dumb version and then I'm gonna make like a serious version. It's hard not to say that Fluter shouldn't be on the team, right? Like, obviously, Fluter is the Fluter. Um. Yeah. What was I thinking? I was thinking Sylveon would be kind of tight. I was thinking everyone likes Sylveon. Um, Trubus. We definitely need to change Clefairy's Terra type.
ye. You get it, my guy. Then, yeah, we got the throat spray. We just need the booster. So, yeah, that's something we could do. We could rock this team, Booster, Eviolite, Throat Spray, Mental Herb, Clogus, and Zaki Man himself. Um, there's a lot of Terras that I could do that would be better than Dragon. Um... I don't necessarily have them available to me right now. So, I'll just keep dragging for now. We're just not clicking it in front of certain things, obviously. Oh, and then let's, uh... Rusted Shield. This needs a Assault Vest. It also needs to be called Bating Luscata. Can't forget that. Lefties, Safety Gorgles, and Scorf. Alright, Scorf Gorgles. Um, lefties, I kind of like just like Dragonite, honestly, like something like Dragonite. I also like dropping Ruination for Rock Slide, but only on certain occasions do I like that. I think Reggie Draco is always a Pokemon that you can kind of just be like, well, what about, like, <laughs> you know? So, I don't think that, like, Goldango is terrible, and it's worth still considering if you ask me I definitely need to change the Dragon Terra. This... I kinda would like to have, like, this one. With the Nasty Plot, Water Terra, and Life Orb. Flubis. All right, let's go test some of these teams. I have four Swift TMs because I'm just that dope, my gay. I'm just that dope. Sometimes you gotta be quadruple Swift. <laughs> uh. All right, let's. Ooh. I have a piece of a rock in my eye from making jewelry. 
I rubbed my eye for a second and I was like, oh, yeah, no, I feel that. Um, all right, give me a sec. I will BRB this. Uh, and then we will start making, doing matches. We will start making the, doing the matches. <laughs> All right. So we got this, and we got this. <coughs> we are BRB. B R B McGee. <laughs> you gotta be McGee. And then I mean, we have quite a few option, options. I have hiccups. Um, I don't love Fluttermane here. I actually kind of like Comfy more. But, you know, we're having fun. I actually do think it's important to remember that Grim Snarl exists. Maybe if I freaking run, <laughs> maybe if I run Electric Terra, they can't. <laughs> no, you could just run Dark Terra if you wanted to get around Prankster. Even that's not worth it.
So let's see what happens here. Um, I definitely don't know what to expect from our opponent right now. I don't think they're in an amazing position though. They're certainly taking their time. So, Sunny Day Boys reflect. P Blades. B Blades, I mean. It's Bay Blade. We just play Beyblades here. We didn't change Zacian's Terra, which is something to think about. Um. This might be a bad play. But we'll see. So... We go for the Fairy Terra, it's not a good Terra to have right now, but it is the Terra that we have. Um, we go for Sword Dance, I'm expecting like Flare Blitz on th maybe Whims, to actually go for Willow, that's not good. Um, Let's just click Like I kind of think that the tailwind's important Yeah, so they go for the thunderclap. We go for, yeah, that wow, that didn't do anything. Um, hmm. Alright, let me think. So we set up the sunny day. We go for Thunderclap again. We go for Sword Stance. We go for Ice Beam, which does one shot. Um, so the question is, are we getting into a position that we cannot win from? We do have Flutter. We can click Moonblast. We can click 
protect. I think there was some, like, reasoning behind not uh, going for Protect this turn. But obviously I'm trying to do what I can. Yeah, so they are going to withdraw. If anything, I think doubling up the uh what's his face i just don't necessarily think i would have lived the thunderclap is the only thing so they will go for the fairy terra you protect Go for a really, really ballsy play. That's so crazy. Um, I mean, it makes sense. They've seen that I have protect. I clicked it last turn so mm. I mean we're obviously getting in this dangerously low range And they keep calling my plays to because I didn't even make the right play. Um, I mean, we know from the get-go that having the wrong Terra kind of lost us this game, right? But... We'll see if we can make a play here. Yeah, so they do Thunderclap that slot. We go for Behemoth Blade. KO Raging Bolt. They should interestingly go for that. Doesn't really get them out of it. Okay, so let's see here. We're honestly still in this. You should, if you're them, you definitely feel like, who do I fake out? Yeah. So, pitiful damage.
Probably just GG's. Um... Oh, they had Reflect. That kind of makes more sense. Um... Yeah, GG's. So, I mean, obviously we didn't really, like, play that one correctly. Like, we had a few turns where they kind of just got the better of us. But all in all, we were also using a team that isn't really that good. Um, we also didn't have a Terra on Zacian, so... The main thing, if we want to keep testing that, is just to put a Terra on Zacian. Preferably one that actually does something. Um, sorry, that's not what I meant to check. So, I need to get more shards of things. Um, flying. Flying is not a bad choice for now. Except that it's bad versus some things. Okay, so... Let's just start testing the other team. <laughs> and then we'll figure that out later. Because I'm not going to sit here and fuss over a mono fairy team. Oh, I did forget to take off Ruination for Rock Slide, though. We'll look at our opponent's team and think about it. So, Ruination versus Rock Slide. In this case, Ruination. Um, I don't think we have a perfect matchup. But that is what you would say about it. Hmm. Let's do this. Then go... I don't think Urshfu's bad. It's just kind of bad in the sun, right? Which makes it ultimately bad, but... Um... This can be good. So can Incineroar, but not, like, amazing. So we have a lot of things that do not, like... their team in general I think so we de that's that's gonna be something this, that I need to think about like this team just doesn't do like anything versus that team unless I play really well of course but you know <laughs> Let's think. Um, so 
So we do probably also want to change the Terra on Zamazenta into... I don't know. I mean, technically I could have gone for Wide Guard there, but... This feels fine to me. Oh, dude, don't do that. Okay, that's fine. Um... This will be interesting. We go for Fake Out. We go for Iron Defense. They go for Keyblades. Yeah, all right, so. Would have been nice to have some other options here, but we're definitely kind of chilling. I'm supposed to have Behemoth Bash, right? Goodbye. So, we'll see if they have Heat Crash. They definitely should. What was my switch out? Because this will be kind of bad. Bring an Ensign. I feel like we have to bring in this. That should be uh, butter. Yep. Go for make it rain. Go for. Switch him to Ensign. Okay, I definitely screwed that up. So I should have clear amulet. Yeah. So I pretty much fell right into that. It's a lot of damage. See if they can miss something, that'd be pretty tight. No, if they go for Heat Crash, that makes sense. Okay, um... Think here. All right, that kind of sucks. I mean, I, I made a good play, but like, for what? Because we totally could have gone for the Iron Defense body press. Uh, 
Um, I think in this case we go for... I mean, we just know this isn't going to KO is the problem, right? Um... So they did call what I was going to do correctly. They actually have stomping. We get the knock off. Doesn't really do enough, of course. Sunlight fades, which does kind of help. Um, but not having Behemoth Bash will lose us the game. So, no matter what, that is pretty unfortunate. Yeah. GG's. Um, we really need to get rid of the uh, Dragon Terra for something more viable. And we also need... Uh, we also need Behemoth Bash. I'm gonna be honest though, like Goldango hit very hard. <laughs> I made a really bad play that one turn by just like not making a safe play. But uh, let's see. All right, so we take all. Snarl for Behemoth Bash. And then, yeah. Um, I also do like. Hey, much appreciate you, my guy. Uh, that is. That is the first time we've had that happen so far, so. You know, um, definitely appreciate you. a pod <laughs> I tried to take a closer look at your picture to see if I to see if I actually know you but I do appreciate it um ooh we actually could run throat chop throat chop is a very good move right now so throat chop over anything I think is even better um you turn yeah, yeah, so we got that. And then definitely we just need to change that Terra. So besides that, um, we'll change the Terra. We'll play a couple more games. We'll see what happens. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll call it once it starts getting a little later. It has a one next to it, my guy. It says, you are the first to be as boys. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the for the two dollars. Okay. Let's see. So what I mean, I need to get more Terra shards, I think is the way that like I'm I'm ultimately looking at this is because Hmm. 
did you just find me tonight? Oh, that's that's dope. I appreciate that as well. Um, yeah, you know, we, we try out here. We, we try our best, you know. And uh, this team is going okay. I'm not going to say that it's perfect, like, but it's getting somewhere for sure. Ooh, so interestingly enough, I would say that out of everything that I have right now, Ground Terra is the best Terra for my, uh, not really electric, uh, <laughs> it's like, like they're all bad, they're all bad. <laughs> Let's, let's do, uh, let's just do normal Terra for now. You know what I would actually kind of like is Ghost Terra. I just need to go get more shards for it. So for now, I'm gonna do normal Terra. Um, and that will be good. But yeah, no, I, I literally, like, just got back monetization because my, my, uh, my, like, ID expired, basically. So I had to redo all that stuff, and then since I've redone that, we've, we've finally gotten to the level of being able to do you know, super cheers and things like that. So, yeah, do much appreciate. Okay, let's uh, let's do normal Terra again. I don't think is perfect, but we are gonna do it. The main thing is that it drops all of our weaknesses, and then we're literally only weak to fighting. And we, I mean, it'd be nice to have some resistances, so, like, I do think that technically ground terra works. Electric terra is not terrible. I'm gonna say either ground or... Yeah, ground or electric, but, like, in my mind, it's gonna be ghost, right? So, you know, we'll just we'll just keep the uh the normal for now and then we'll see what happens. But yeah, I mean, really I just <clears throat> I don't feel like farming the shards right now. <laughs> it's it is a little bit late here, if we're being honest, so, you know. Um, I will show you guys some rental teams, though, so, you know, since I do appreciate you being here, uh, if you would like to see any Reg F or Reg G rental teams that I have available, um, I can show that. Oh, okay. Double restricted. Hmm. Definitely a scary team, though. Not exactly one that I can just do what I want to do in front of. I do kind of like just starting, like, these two, or like these two. I want to do this, I'm just afraid that it's not the right play. And then... 
Sure, we'll make it a battle of the bullies. I feel like this team is not good, though. So, I don't know. I mean, we put it together pretty quickly, so... My guy! He really just said that. He really said that. Can't think of a better mom to pair with than in DD. I should have gone for Grassy Glide. Alright, let's see here. So we don't do enough. I don't think expanding force is mandatory. I mean, I, I know there's like a Psy Shock ast Astral Barrage version. Um, good team uses CSR without Psychic Dream. Yeah, no, there there are. There, there definitely are. I know, this dude's wrecking me right now, like... <laughs> Trubus. Yeah, take that. He said, I'll have what I'm having. He said, ha 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 ha, I'll have what I'm having. <laughs> you guys get it. You guys have seen the meme. I, I think it's a meme. Anyways. They still do a decent bit. I probably should have gone for Nasty Plot. Yeah, I should have. That was not a good play. Yeah, you get it. I know you get it. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna switch back in this. I think there's a chance that they will live one. Especially after clicking Parabolic Charge. Uh, yeah. 
They're not in an amazing. Uh, come on, me. Come on, me. <laughs> At least they're like not really doing anything. We are gonna lose this though. What am I thinking? Um... The lamest shiny. Um... I'm not quite sure. Me and taking this question super seriously, obviously. <laughs> this is a very serious question. Ooh, that sucks. I think it's actually gonna care this time. We switch back. We have wide guard, heavy slam. Um, Garchomp is one of my least favorite personally. I really just don't think it looks good. Sarah Ledge. Sarah Ledge is more for the like you could have done more factor, right? Like So let's see if we made the wrong play here. They do go for Dazzling Gleam. go for they go for we go for they go for let's just click wood hammer oh right I almost forgot this was a double legendary team Okay, um, 
Well, now that we've gotten to the bottom of that, I think it's about time to run. <laughs> like, like we're we're just gonna not break through this. Uh, yeah. So, I was pretty willing to keep playing it out until I saw that, and then I was like, oh, right. This isn't even a reg F or a reg GT. <laughs> uh, but that was inc that was impressive. You gotta admit that. So Encore Disable Stunks definitely looking up. This is like a weird team that can do things, quote unquote. Um, let's start this, I guess. With the, 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 this. And so this probably, honestly, like when to hold and when to fold, Mane. Trubis. Yeah, we were not gonna get through that. Like, <laughs> all right. Clucky torn very, very passive. Big Tailwind. Big freaking magic room. <laughs> like, all right, let's click make it rain. Team of Dash. My guy, what are you doing? He said, Fairy Lock, go. To tell you the truth, I didn't know that was a thing. And it'd be cool if it was like Parish Song, but it sounds like it's not, it's like a worse Parish Song. Oh my god, they just landed. They just landed, my god. They have a pretty fast money key, too. But, we get the behemoth dash. And that'll do it. So we'll make it rain again, body press. I'm not sold on this team though, I'm gonna be honest. Um, that's cool. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make like a real Zalcian team. 
Gotti. Whole lot of Gotti. Didn't even knock him out the box. You know they wanted that too. You know, you know, not getting that KO hurts. Like, <laughs> they were like, they were like, all right, normal Terra Hyper Beam for the moral win, and then they didn't get the KO, and they were like, oh my god. <laughs> too tough, man. Too freaking tough. <laughs> What are you doing? They come for you, man. Alright, um... So we have Zaki Man himself. <laughs> that was so funny. The moral win. Sometimes you just need the moral wins, and sometimes it does not present itself. <laughs> Too funny. Alright, um... What am I thinking? One of these Pokemon is gonna be good with Ogre Pony. Or I mean with Saucyon. Uh... I honestly really like the way that Salamence has been playing in my recent use of it. Um, it's pretty decently positioned into the coming meta. It's not amazing. But it is kind of decent. So we've got Salamence and Zacian. Um, I do think that there's ways in which I need to remember that Landorus is a Pokemon because Landorus could technically be a better choice. Um, probably not Banderus, Landorus, Choice Scarf Landorus. Um, Could do that too. Do I have an explosion, Reggie Lecky? I know I do somewhere. Yeah. Nice. So this is meant to go with a Protect Rillaboom, if I'm correct. So this is supposed to be an, an Explosion Reggie Lecky that you can run with Protect Rillaboom. Um... So give it E speed explosion volt switch definitely E webs. Um, so yeah, E web E speed explosion. And Volt Switch. Yeah, I, get, I mean, I just don't have it readily available, I guess. So. Wherefore art thou Volt Switch? Ooh, Acrobatics. We could run Acrobatics. I'm not going to say we can't. I mean, technically, Protect is better. 
but um okay so we've got that i'm probably gonna change salamence for landris um it just feels like the right thing to do to me but we've got that and then we want a choice band. So let's see, where is it? Oh. Well, okay, so the way that I'm about to run it is actually good with normal Terra grassy seed. So kind of interesting. So yeah, we run Grassy Seed. We go get... First off, I'm going to take this and move it to somewhere where I can look at it easier. We take... This, we move it over here. Then we say, okay, so we have Rillaboom, Grassy Seed Raji, Lucky, Salamence, Saucian. With, uh, does it really still have Fairy Terra? I didn't fix that. Okay, yeah, let's fix that. Um,. And then, but I mean, I don't want to give away the explosion is the only thing. Like technically, I don't hate having, <laughs> just like annoying things, I feel like. Um... Obviously, I'm kind of just throwing this team together on the fly. So let's see, Grassy Seed, Life Orb. We need things with Protect and or Wide Guard, I think is the most important at this point, so... Sorry, I know we're kind of slowing it down here for a sec, but like, I'm just having fun. All right, pop bomb, taunt, protect, follow me. And then Yeah, I mean really we just need something with protect like so let's let's go to Sylveon. I actually really like Sylveon. I think Sylveon has things that it really needs to worry about. Um in the meta, that is. But... Where is my Sylveon? My Sylveon is... Over here, isn't it? Okay. Nice. We got that. And then we go in here. We go... Yeah, I mean, I really don't guarantee anything for this team. I'm kind of just having fun, right? Like, 
I definitely don't think this team is that good. So we got the normal Terra Reggie Lecky. Then we go over here. A whole lot of clicking buttons, my guy. And we get Flying Terra or something. Yeah. I'm going to say Flying Terra. And then... If we need if we need we just need ways to be things of the nature like Maridon and the one with the face. Right? What's his name? Um <laughs> Ooh, we're actually not running Wild Charge. We should be running Wild Charge. Um, who likes Wild Charge? Wild Charge is boring. <laughs> um, no, we should have Wild Charge. So let's let's get Wild Charge. be interesting I don't think it's like perfect but it's worth trying and then Salamancha where are you I'm going to give it Tailwind because I think Tailwind's going to help this team quite a lot into some of the matchups, particularly, yeah, no, I can definitely see some matchups that'll be good into. Um... <laughs> buttons. Too many buttons. This is the part of team building that I don't enjoy. The part where you're just like, 
doing things for like 10 minutes straight. Just to build a team that you might not actually end up using in the finality of everything. But let's see. Okay, so. We do want Tailwind over Dragon Dance, I'll say. And then. Because we have Zacian, we kind of should run Dragon Claw, so I'm gonna run Dragon Claw. Um, I didn't have to use my Dragon Claw TM, probably. It's fine. And then, yeah, I mean, we can keep trying sword stance. I don't really think it's perfect. Let's just start trying. I think if anything, Sylveon is the one thing I'm not sold on so far on the team comp. I also think that beat up mouse hold is a thing because of Calyrex. So you might say to yourself, do I actually need Tailwind when I have, um, You know, Reggie Lucky, but I like the game. So let's see. I'll just bring Zaki Man himself in the front. We go Zaki Man and Mouse with Rillaboom. this yeah that's probably gonna be my best I have tailwind yeah right well right 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 yeah I see what you're saying right some me having tailwind helps me also beat tailwind um in my opinion, it also allows me to click Protect Tailwind if I really need to, so. That's kind of my thought process. We could have started Explosion here, but. Let's see what they do. They have psychics. Very interesting. Um, So let's see here. You might ask yourself, could I be making a bad play? And the answer is, yeah, yeah. 
Um, I think there's a really good chance that Indeedy would have would live. Um, so we go for Behemoth Blade. Yeah. We go for Taunt. They go for high horsepower, geez. Um, that puts us in a very interesting position. Please tell me I clicked Behemoth Blade. Because <laughs> if I clicked Sacred Sword, I am dumb. Alright, so at least there's that. Go for Behemoth Blade. This probably doesn't even do half. Yeah. Go for pop bomb. Go for Okay, well, they quit, so. Um, I think they kind of realized that there wasn't a good way around Taunt. Like, they did obviously have scary things. Um, it would have been nice for that to actually be a, a one, two, two, sh uh, one shot, two shot. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been nice for that to be a two shot, but it wasn't. Um, yeah. I don't really know what they were thinking. They definitely should have tried to trick room at least, so. Jeez, please no. Please don't. Like, do we have to? Uh. So they're gonna gravity plus a spot throw me. We'll see. I don't necessarily think that I brought the right Pokemon. I think Salamence is a very awkward Pokemon in this matchup, but it's not terrible. I can definitely see how Landorus would be kind of better than Salamence in some instances, so. Some things to keep in mind. Okay. I would like to say that was not on my end. Um, so 
So let's switch Salamence. Uh, we'll, we're using it as a Tailwind setter and to beat Maridon. So let's just keep going. <laughs> let's play one more and then I'm done for the night. But thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you. Oh, huh. Let me just restart the game. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, ultimately why I started the channel was to chart my progress and help others get better while, uh, while using interesting themes that I'm building myself, you know. Okay. So, like I said, restarting, we're going to play one more, and then we are going to call it for the night. I've been working on some cool stuff, though. I've been working on some cool stuff with this uh, emulator, with being able to make a ROM hack. Let's see, so, casual battles. There it is. Let's think. If we did want to replace Sylveon, I mean, we could use like Prim or something. Hmm. I forget what I said, but thank you. <laughs> Much appreciate. Much appreciate. Okay. Um. Let's try this. Bring this in the back. So I'm not necessarily bringing the right Pokemon here, but I, you know, have a plan. That plan is to try to win. <laughs> so Gyarados Chandelure is expectable. Hiccups. Also expectable. So their team does not hate Trick Room, unfortunately. I don't know what to expect here. So they do withdraw Gyarados. I feel like, yeah, okay, Titar kind of makes sense. I definitely could have gone for the Supercell Slam like I was thinking about.
Because they should trick room. No, they go for will o -Wisp. Okay. Gets that crazy speed boost of Miss Me. Um, okay. Interesting choice. My guy. Alright, so what now? We could just bring out Zaki Man himself. Go for... Not a terrible time to just go for this, honestly. I really don't see a world in which they get out of this by a conventional mean, you know, like by follow me, I don't know, like yeah, so they do go into Gyarados. They are doing a really good job lowering my damage output. Um, so I'm gonna have to start switching eventually. They're playing really well. Honestly, like at this point, we're kind of losing. Leftovers of okay. all right, so we'll see here. Um we are indeed not like in a, an amazing position, like I said. But I think if we get in, like they don't have good damage on the field, they just have good positioning, like. So they will withdraw Ogre Pond into T-Tar, which is kind of what I needed because it gives us the chance to KO them. We bring Salamancha back in, we bring Mousehold out. 
and that starts our route to win. This should KO, hopefully. Yep. And then if they have T Wave, that's a little annoying to go for Ice. Um. <laughs> like my guy. Alright. Behemoth played. Pop bomb. Ooh, are they four times resistant to steel moves? I don't think so. I do think we're winning. It took a bit of a roundabout way, but we are winning. Nice. Two, three, four. <laughs> Just a little pop bomb for you. Just a little bomb of popping. Nothing you can do about that one again. They did not Terra, I think. But even if they do, that's not going to get them out of it because then they don't have Defiant anymore. So no matter what, I think Salamence plus Zacian will pick this up for us. You do make a good point, I will be honest. I just don't think it'll get them out of it, if, if, even if they do have Terra still. Yeah, so they should try to take out Mouse Hold here. But then I'm gonna intimidate them next turn and they can't get out of it with Defiant. And I will have a Dragon Flying Pokemon. We're still faster. Definitely GG's. Yeah, it was not looking good there for a sec, I'll be honest. GG's. Those balloons were really helping us, you know. Without the balloons, I am nothing good. <laughs> Without my balloons, who am I? Uh, what am I thinking? So... Swords Dance Zacian feels a little greedy. So if we look back at the team. Play rough. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna go for play rough or terra blast. I'm not sure which, but uh, either way, that's gonna be it for the night. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was definitely some some rocket rock'em sock'em. You know what I mean? Uh, and we had fun. So besides that, I think the only thing I would say is. 
yeah, I mean, we really didn't need Sylveon, but like, it can do things, so. We'll, we'll try to get some more matches. We'll get you guys, you know, a rent, a rental code video. Um, and yeah, so like I said, thank you for tuning in. Uh, much appreciate y'all and happy.